Alright guys, so looking at this title, I bet you're thinking, what the hell is this? Have we got some videos or something? And I just want to say, this looks very legitimate what I have here, but this could be fake. Just remember that and keep that in mind. But we basically have an article that was submitted online, and it was from somebody who was in the marketing team, and his information apparently came directly from the Capcom development team, and he had some very up-to-date information, and he was kind of angry, so I'll go through all of this, and you guys can decide what you want to believe on this. I just thought it was interesting enough it might spark some speculation, or you guys might appreciate it and if the game does come out and we see some of these things it would be awesome because there is some really cool details in here but just keep that in mind a level of skepticism so before we get into it all of this information was provided by a great supporter called Luke Riley he gave me everything I needed here so if you appreciated the content and you want more of this make sure to follow him because it's important to give people positive feedback for their hard work and just from me by the way it meant a lot and thank you luke so let's get into it anyway i will not disclose my name here for the sake of professional integrity i'm from japan i live in a metropolis here i was the target of a major labor injustice of the game developer company biohazard 7 while working there, my position was as a marketing analyst, and I was involved in spreading the game for almost a year until now. I will not go into detail about my departure, even though other people have also been fired, and I do not want to create even more problems before leaving my position. I received many details of the game, which until now have not been revealed. All information comes from a list I received directly from the development team. Sorry for the lack of more details in the information. Victims affected by the first virus will take many forms in the material of publicity were called molded. Now, I know that sounds a little bit weird, guys, and the first thing I want to say is if this was actually from a Japanese developer, this is the kind of English that they put out. This is what I mean when I say that Japanese to English translation is tricky even for them as their way of thinking and formatting, structuring words and sentences is very different from ours. I would say that this in English would be worded as victims affected by the first virus will take many forms. Publicly released material dubs them the molded. Animals will also be infected. In one part of the game you will have to face an alligator and huge bug. Each member of the baker has a different ability. Jack has superhuman strength, Marguerite has control over spiders and wasps, Lucas is extremely fast and can camouflage himself, and Melissa has telepathic powers and control over the infected. Now this is really interesting because Melissa sounds to be like the little girl and I'll get into that further on in the article, but recently I had a theory that I've been creating for a while that it is telepathic control using the infection as a catalyst. So it's as if Ethan is infected and Melissa can actually project telepathic images and such into his mind because he's infected and she has control over the infected. Now that's interesting because it does seem to align with that theory and the way that works into the plot. The virus that affects the family is called chromosoma A. It is the result of several searches of other infections. It is cited in the list T. abyss, progenitor, and the Ouroboros as examples. Now this is some pretty bad English again guys and I can only get two interpretations from this. It means they were either trying to search for the progenitor virus or any kind of developed virus that was based from the progenitor like the Ouroboros and T Abyss, managing to come across some kind of strain that was based on the progenitor virus and that's what we're seeing now, or when they were actually searching for the progenitor virus or any derivative of it, maybe they came across a new virus by pure accident. The zero patient of this new virus was Marguerite Baker when she was pregnant with Melissa. Now if you guys remember the screenshot or the picture of the Baker family above the fireplace and how it changed in the Twilight demo update, we got to see a little girl next to the rest of the family. Could this be Melissa and did she grow up with telepathic powers and control over the infected? That's an interesting little bit of speculation. It also says Ethan and Mia are reporters who end up getting involved in a federal investigation of a former pharmaceutical company that could be responsible for the disappearance of dozens of people. Now again, this aligns up with a lot of things that we know. We saw that Ethan has got a lot of documents especially pertaining to the missing characters and it would also make sense to be honest for Mia to be going to the Baker area because she was trying to report on the incident before she went missing. About characters who returned 
of the plot were named Jessica Sherawat and Chris Redfield. I was not aware of other characters. Now, I said Chris Redfield was returning and it was possible for other characters. I just didn't know of any at the time and neither did my source. But this could be an interesting elaboration right here, guys. The game is separated into eight chapters and five different areas. If Ethan is healed in the middle of the game, the end is changed as are the encounters with Melissa and the agent. There are enemies in the game called Pale. These creatures are invulnerable and must be defeated through antivirus or trapped in isolation chambers. I mean, this is implying that there's an antivirus in the game once again, linking it back to the T-virus and thus the progenitor virus as well. And this is so interesting. It finishes off with this information was the last one I received one month ago and changes may have been made. I want to make it clear I will not divulge any personal information to prove anything. As I said in this post, it is up to the reader to judge in any way he chooses. Thank you, YK. Now this thread was shortly deleted after it was posted, which is a little weird after all the effort that was put into it. Maybe the person was a bit afraid of their NDA being broken or them getting into some trouble. I mean, it could just be an elaborate troll at the same time. This person could have known a lot of these details and just thrown in some extra stuff to make it seem like it's more credible. It's up to you what level of skepticism you want to take when reading this, but it does seem to align. It does seem like it's a Japanese to English translation from a Japanese person. The delete of the article definitely seems to be a little bit weird and also is the fact that some of these elements seem to align with popular theories that seem like they make the most sense because the only alternative theories really are things like actual ghost shit which is already being confirmed not to be true i just wanted to bring this to your attention guys and i'll be meeting you down in the comments anyway because i want to talk to you about this and i want to see what you guys think i've been really ill lately once again so i hope the quality hasn't suffered too much in this video guys i apologize for not producing it to my normal standards i really do mean that i hope you enjoyed watching the video for now and as always take it easy guys and peace